happy Tuesday. So today has been a morning of running around, errands, just getting things um, together. I plan on redoing our bathroom upstairs, just giving it a fresh coat of paint, maybe adding a few things here or there. I have to change the faucet and everything. So I spent my morning at Home Depot, um, which I actually enjoy going to Home Depot. Um, and so then I took a trip to Trader Joe's and a trip to Walmart. Um, the Walmart trip was really quick. I just had to get my son some curtains, but I found a few things that I thought I'd share with you. So let me show you um, what I grabbed at Trader Joe's first. Um, it was just some real like staple things that I needed. I went through my spice cabinet and such and was seeing that I was running low on things. So um, let me go ahead and show you. All right, so here is my Trader Joe's haul. Not too impressive, but I did need to stock up on some staples. So we'll start with some oranges. My five-year-old asked me to grab some oranges today and I told her depending on what the prices look like, I would grab a bag. Um, these are Cara Cara Naval Oranges. Um, it was only $3.99 for three pounds. So figure that wasn't too bad. Um, if I go to the regular grocery store, these things are like six bucks and you don't even get um, get that much. So I grabbed some oranges. Grab my husband, some of the power berries. These are a must have every time I go to Trader Joe's. I have to grab these for him. He absolutely loves them. Um, I needed to stock up on the boxed whipping cream. These are $1.29. I love keeping at least two or three of these in the fridge at all times. Um, you never know when you're gonna need it. And Again, when you go to the regular grocery store, a carton of whipping cream now is like four or five bucks. And just for like a little carton. I mean, it was unreal. So I love to stock up on these. The only thing about these is even if I put my mixing bowl and beater in the freezer for like a half an hour beforehand, this is in the fridge. This does take a little bit longer to whip up than regular uh, you know, whipping cream that you buy at the store for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's shelf stable or what, but I've noticed that this does take a little bit longer to, um, to whip up, but it's still delicious. Grab some half moons for my husband. Loves those. Um, some white button mushrooms for dinner tonight. Um, grab some frozen blueberries. I want to make some blueberry muffins. Um, so I just grabbed a bag of those. Um, I grabbed one Granny Smith apple. Um, I have a cookie recipe that I want to try um, and I needed just one apple and I was going to buy a bag of Granny Smiths but my kids don't like to eat them just as is because they're too tart. Um, so I just grabbed one. I grabbed another one of these plants. Um, I, I can't even say the name but I grabbed a pink one. Um, I grabbed a blue one. Oh sorry about the lighting. We just got so much snow outside that the glare is crazy. So I grabbed this one last week. Um, this is a blue one. And they're $2.49 at Trader Joe's. And they smell absolutely amazing. Like you walk into my kitchen and you can just instantly smell them. And I thought that once they bloomed, that was it. You know what I mean? That you don't get flowers from them again. But I Googled it. And actually, if you take these and transplant these outside or like in a really big pot outside, they will rebloom next year. So um, I bought these last year and once the flowers died off, I kind of just tossed it because I thought, you know, they wouldn't grow back. But now that I found out that they do grow back, um, I have a big pot um, by my front stairs that um, I wasn't sure what I was going to put in it. So I grabbed another one. I have this blue one. I do have a white one also. Um, so I grabbed the um, I grabbed a pink one too. So once these are done flowering, I'm going to plant them outside and see what happens next year. All right, I grabbed uh, fire roasted peppers. I used my last jar the other day, so I definitely needed to grab some more of those. Um, some marinated artichokes. Again, these are like pantry staples that I always keep um, in my pantry because you never know. They were a great like grab, you know, if you just need to whip something up or whatever. Um, but I absolutely love to have these in my pantry. Um, I grabbed some onion salt. Um, I like this because it actually has, you know, little pieces of dried onion in it and everything. I prefer um, this onion salt than the pulverized ones that you get at the grocery store. Um, I needed some honey, so I grabbed some honey. 
um, some maple syrup. I needed some ground black pepper. Um, I grabbed a purple onion because I want to try making some pickled purple onions. Um, I see it on the cooking shows all the time. Um, and I've never actually had them and they use them as just like a little, you know, garnish on top of like a steak or whatever. So I figured I'd try, um, pickling up some. I like to buy the uncured bacon, um, ends and pieces because one, it's cheaper than bacon. And I mean, there's still a lot of meat on these and I love adding these to like my Brussels sprouts, green beans. Um, I don't use this as like, you know, breakfast bacon. I use this more as flavoring or adding an extra component to vegetables or whatever but i love grabbing this um this is 449 i believe so not too bad and how much do you get in there a pound so that's not bad um i grabbed this pot roast for dinner tonight it's cabernet beef pot roast i've actually never seen this before um it was 12 14 um just under two pounds um so I'm curious as to how how that's gonna taste. Um, I grabbed a boneless pork tenderloin. I love grabbing these at Trader Joe's. Look at that, it's only $4.27. Um, and this is a great quick weeknight dinner. I will put a dry rub on it, crisp it up in the cast iron pan, and then throw it in the oven and make little medallions. And it's absolutely delicious. And then I grabbed some Hold the Cone mini ice creams. I grabbed a chocolate and a vanilla my kids absolutely love these and i love that they're portion sized i mean this is kind of like the actual size of the ice cream my kids absolutely love these and then lastly i was so so excited cotton candy grapes are out um i thought it was a little bit too early in the season usually i never saw these until around like may june at like wagman's or whole foods um, a couple years back when these things first came out, um, you couldn't find them anywhere. And like, you know, my local Wagmans, they would get them and by 11 a.m. they'd be sold out. But now you can, um, you can find them a little bit more. Um, depending on what store and what brand you get, um, I've actually never had this brand. Um, the flavor, you know, can vary. But um, I know that the ones that I get at Wagmans are super, super sweet and they taste just like cotton candy. So the kids are gonna be super excited about this. All right, so now let me show you real quick what I grabbed at Walmart. Again, nothing really, uh, you know, life earth shattering or whatever, but I just did a quick trip into Walmart. Now I did get this Lodge cast iron skillet, super happy, it was 11 bucks. And this is like the deep one. And this is like perfect for like making like cake, cornbread, um, bread, you know, nice casserole or whatever. So I was super, super excited about this. Needed some cat food. Um, I grabbed my son some blackout panel curtains. Um, my older daughter, um, I just grabbed her some at Target cause they were on clearance. And he's like, oh, how come I didn't get any? So I went and grabbed him uh, some of these. And I think this was 12 bucks. I mean, it was a little bit more expensive than the ones that I bought my daughter, but he will, um, he'll love these. Uh, box of uh, frosted honey buns. The kids love to have these as a snack. So does my husband. Um, they had Firestarter uh, instant flame gel. We have a fire pit out back. Um, and I'm hoping that once the snow melts, um, we'll be able to get that going soon. Um, so I grabbed this. This was only a buck 50. They only had one, uh, bottle or else I would have grabbed more. So that's great. Even, um, if we can't use it now, um, just grab some wet cat food, dry cat food. Um, oh, so they had the new post chicken and waffles cereal. Uh, I bought it just because my kids are like, oh, I wonder what that tastes like. So I grabbed it and we'll do like a little taste test there. And then they also had the maple bacon donut. Yum. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they eat those. Grab some Mountain Dew Blast um, for my eldest. And I grabbed this for myself. I've never seen um, this flavor. This is salted dark chocolate with a splash of cold brew. Um, so that'll be a little treat for me. And then um, I grabbed myself for my toolbox. It's a 12-in-1 little hatchet uh, multi-tool. It's uh, good to have in the toolbox. 
and it was on clearance for six bucks so I figured it was worth um worth grabbing so that is my trip for today oh and also um I grabbed a shop vac when I was at Walmart because this works better in our home than a regular vacuum cleaner so this is um, my quick trip to Trader Joe's and to Walmart. Um, again, I'll probably be doing my large food shopping haul sometime soon this week. Um, and once I do, I will bring that video to you. So until next time, kiddos, bye.